doesn't have anyone over at rail, so they gotta watch their flanks. And instead, it's gonna be the front door. Here's Sito walking into a two on one. And uh, he will go down very quickly. Tyrio looking to get some additional damage at the pillars. Let's go take a look. Though. Well, let's, let's see if this, this will one on one finish out. Okay, there we go. Tyrio getting it done and almost eating no damage. Um, I've been noticing, uh, like in that last one, that Vasa really making some interesting choices. Um, I think favoring a little bit too much of the rocket jumping rather than just solid climbing up shots and getting it, uh, and getting the kills. Drake not realizing uh, where a cool man had gone, and uh, fortunately the rocket well, right his ass was not cool at all. <laughs> it's a hot rocket. But cool man taking a rail here on top of ridge, but so far. He was alone there for just a second, finally getting some support. Moving out over to Rocket Launcher, but forgetting to check his his nine there, taking a rail. And right now, again, I, I do like the, this movement coming from them. They are moving in, in a pretty well coordinated fashion. But one thing that worries me, I wonder if OKFS's connection really is okay, because he's only got one frag here and six deaths. But on the other hand, Drake not faring much better with a two and six KDR. Yeah. But hey, we'll see how this goes. Well, the, you know, that's that's, that's sort of an unfortunate uh, reality with Clan Arena. There's usually that poor bastard that's a little bit too aggressive um, <laughs> on the Clan Arena team that tends to die first, like every time. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not a big Clan Arena guy, but uh, I, I'm way too aggressive to play this thing. Now that was Cool Man taking a chunk out of the floor, but that one is going to go to the red side of things. And Drake now up on top of rail, looking to attack Bridge. And it looks like Reggie at uh, GHS is going to get it, but <laughs> Drake walks into a couple of rockets. That's not going to help things, but here comes OKFS, a present from above. And that rocket is going to finish things off. There he is, Drake getting the 1 2 before going down. Tyrael getting 2 as well. And now we're looking at a 2 on 1 situation. Our survivor being DeBasso. Never mind, he's down. Five on three, Blue's favor. Yeah, Cool Man definitely cooled him off. We're going to go take a look at OKFS at the start of this one. Um, looks like Blue GHS has set up at bridge. OKFS taking mid and checking red, uh, rail plat. And look at this double team. I like this. OKFS getting out of there just in time. He's about to eat two rails from the opposing side of the map. Ate a rail there, and Moody he'll be finished off. Uh, yeah, Drake really getting him in the toe as he made that rocket jump. So it looks like this one will probably go to red here. The round score is currently five to three, so very close. Final survivor is going to be Cool Man. <laughs> he nailed back you as he attempted the rocket jump. So I was body fly past us. That was fun. But still, has three more to pull through. I don't see it happening. Now this steer rail is not someplace oh, he wants wow. to go. Now <laughs> getting Drake there, Drake was wanting to take the initiative, but with two players still left to go there, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, but great showing there. Uh, I mean, that's that's hardly an, an easy thing to do. Sirsito, at the start of this round, looks like they're going to favor pillars, and uh, it's only two of them though. Looks like Faku already going down. Though they're quickly answering. Let's see if we can find where the others are. It's Daibasso. Uh, lone wolfing it over at bridge, Sirocito getting a rail though. Uh, so maybe that was a bit of a distraction that Bussy was pulling off. And there it is, Sirocito. Yeah, I really like that. Every time that uh, Blue turned their aim at Debasso, Sirocito was there to follow up with the rail from an another side of the map. So nice work there. Um, I'm not sure if that was intentionally coordinated, but it worked out extremely well. Drake getting first blood on this round, and Blue JHS now down a man. LG Orgy below the bridge, Sushido getting pushed up the stairs, finally going to go down at the hands of NZA, but NZA eating a lot of damage while he's at it, down to 50, um, but it's still a two-on-one scenario, so it's going to be DiBasso who has That's lots one. of work to do. Now making that one-on-one, -on -one, DiBasso here has the health advantage, but right now he has his back turned on top of Rocket, so right now he's not quite sure where NZA is. I'm sure NZ is thinking the same thing. So as one of these guys gets a lock on the other, they're going to be able to circle around, and we're going to see this resolve fairly quickly. And they have spotted each other. Rail. There we go. 
Yeah, really no, fit. We, we've seen this before. Not sure. uh, he guessed the shot there, but Deb also, I, I think that Blue could take that to their advantage because um, we've seen that at least three separate times tonight. Deb also, when he gets into the into some sort of situation, he tends to try to really be very extreme with his movement, really smashing himself around the map. Um, and it can, it can really be costly if you do it at the wrong time. And if you're expecting it, then it means that you know you can set up for that rail or you can set up for some really impressive moves. Final guy standing on red GHS is going to be Sirsito with a, a nearly, um, well, nearly nothing. now nearly four. He's got to run now like a little wabbit. And now he's moving back into the main arena, going up mid, going into the shotgun stairwell. I'm not quite sure what he was going to try to accomplish going that way. Yeah, yeah especially some when... you want to put yourself when all four players are up. Exactly. Uh, you can really get caught back there and um, shut down into the corner. Not to mention that this particular exit route uh, forces him to basically move straight for a few seconds as he turns that corner. Very easy to line up a rail, and that's exactly what we saw happen. Um, now we're waiting for Cool Man to, to join his uh, team here. They have moved off of bridge onto mid level. Let's take a look at uh, Red Circito doing a nice combo LG and Rail and gets Tyriel down before he finally eats it. Cool Man able to answer with a one of his own, but uh, nice back and forth. Cool Man pretty well stacked. His teammate. Not quite so much. 15 health. Oh, but he will pull down Drake and give his team an advantage. And there it is. Was in the wrong place then. Being between yeah. Cool Man and the other blue, it's just not some place you want to be, especially when Cool Man's going to be whipping out his cold blue shaft. And that's mm. going to make it a 7 to 6 scenario here, but we still got a nearly tied game here, so this is far from over. Looks like Sir Cito is able to manage the, the kill there. Uh, before he goes down, that's going to give the man up advantage to blue. And um, I think right now, mm, see here, here's where it starts to really become worrisome. If you're on red team, you're sitting there going, ah, crap. Only two rounds to go. We got to pull through at least four. Now, cool, man. Uh, when your teammate turns around and is trying to get the hell away from the enemy, you do not want to block him. That's usually... Well, really? That's rude. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I do. I, just, I stand right in their way. Don't block because <laughs> that way the shots aren't hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> Underlay. Oh. Like, hey, better you than me, man. Better you than me. Cool, man. Getting it done. Pulling down Drake. Here, here. And now, in this situation, three up. Daibaso probably won't uh, survive. Yeah, so now we're in game points. Oh. Although, here's the question. Do you remember who won the last one? Was it GHS or GHS? <laughs> I think it was GHS. I could be wrong. Okay. Cool man, joined by OKFS at rail. OKFS on mid. Cool man, um, sticking up high. Sirsito getting that first blood. I'm going to go watch Sirsito. He's been really making the plays today. And, um... Cool man exchanges though, takes out Fakyu. Well, and to answer your question, I do believe it was Red GHS who took the last round, so we could be seeing a third round here pretty soon. If this is if this goes the way it goes, and it looks right like Cool here. Man is wanting to track down with the LG, following up, finishing off with the shotgun. Blue That's going to be the clutch kill, and it's going to be ten to six in Blue's favor. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to see the Ghost Squads moving on to a third map. What is the tiebreaker? Let's take a look. Accuracy is 34% for Cool Man. 31% for Tyr. Faki with 41%. And, of course, everyone's loving the railguns today. Let's see. Uh, Drake actually using a rocket launcher. OKFS using a rocket launcher. Uh, got a couple lightning guns. Cool Man with a shotgun. Oh, that's, that's unique. Good job. Cool Man was definitely pulling his own there. That had to be one of his golden rounds. He had, what, 21 frags and only 7 deaths. Nice, nice work. Okay. So it's going to be CA2. It looks like we were looking at tosses. Trinity. And Trinity is going to be the uh, final destination for these ghost squatters. And I think you know, this map, in my opinion, plays out a little bit like... Uh, 
little bit like DM6. We got the multiple teams. A larger scale, yes.